Those episodes were good as hell. I missed the first two minutes of episode 7, but I imagine I didn't miss too much of them, and if I did, I'll follow up at some point. But, like, I love the action in that episode so much. It was so intense, very reminiscent of something from the first Star Wars trilogy from the, the 70s and 80s, and I like that a lot. Uh, also, Ben Fama in both of these episodes, is absolutely great. I love his character so far. He's so endearing. I love his relationship with Kalmar, his father, yeah, etc, etc. He's just a really, 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 really good character. Now, on to the tale of Ben Fama. I love this episode. I love Kalmar and the King. I love Ben Fama. I love the dynamic the Malopian royal family have. There's so much, like, spite and vitriol throughout it all, mainly coming down to Kalmar, but there's also good parts too, like, uh, the King and Ben Fama's relationship, which was very nice to see. If I have an immediate complaint about this episode, though, it's, I don't like how this didn't have the stylized 2D animation, because the stylized 2D animation of Last of the Formlings and, uh, Dungeon Party was awesome, and I would love to have an episode like that, but... This episode still looks perfectly really good, right? So I'm not saying the LEGO animation is bad by any means, it looks fantastic as always, but I do hope we get one of those stylized episodes, like Ninjago Confidential, or Last of the Formlings, I love those episodes so much, I hope we get more of them. Still though, not a jab on this episode directly, this episode's visuals were awesome, but I think I would have preferred a stylized one, but the thing is, I'm not sure if the squids would translate well over to it, but... I don't know, you know? Okay, so my thoughts on these episodes overall. Uh, episode 7, very good, amazing action. Uh, one of those Ninjago episodes that have just loads of action and make you feel like a dumb kid watching them, and I love it. Episode 8, really good story, makes Ben Fomar a lot more uh, endearing. I love Ben Fomar, I'm really excited to see more of him, he's such an interesting character. And also I love the King and Kalmar. Kalmar, once again, is great, and is once again a utter... I I'm not even going to say the words. <laughs> you know, Kalmar is such a callous jerk, I love him and I'm so excited to see more of him. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say regarding these two episodes. Very good stuff, I'm very excited to see how the island wraps into all of this, and Kai and Cole's role in the story. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time, in the next Seabound review, if not probably another video in this week, because I do have some videos planned. And yeah, I'll see you later, goodbye.